Hello everyone, it is Colorado Wait here, and today I'm going to be talking about Inkling and the pros and cons she has on every stage on the competitive stage list. I've noticed that there is a decent amount of discussion of what are Inkling's better stages nowadays, since the only video we have about the specific topic is our modest video going over this, and the video is becoming outdated being released in 2019, and it's 2021, the video is almost 2 years old. So I decided to give my input of what are Inkling's better stages, at least what are the pros and cons of every stage you can play on. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, it really helps out a lot. And just in case if you are new to the channel, I have a ton of Inkling guides and I made an entire playlist of all the guides I have uploaded already to the channel and I am planning to make more Inkling content in the near future so make sure to subscribe if you're new. That's enough of me rambling in the intro, let's get started with today's video. Starting from the bottom, I think the stage that Inkling does the worst on is Kalos Pokemon League. The main problem with this stage is the platforms on the side of the stage. The platforms on the side of the stage messes with Inkling's less trapping, specifically with Splat Bomb. In normal cases, or on other stages, when using Splat Bomb the less trap, the opponent is forced to get off of the ledge since Splat Bomb can cover the ledge trap pretty well if charged correctly. When you try to ledge trap with Splat Bomb on Kalos, the bomb just stays on the top platform and it doesn't force the opponent to get off of the ledge since it's not coming down to get them. You can of course charge the Splat Bomb from a distance so it can actually cover ledge soul, but the problem with that is mainly it takes longer to set up. But overall, I think that's the only thing that's holding Inkling back on this stage. An advantage with Kalos, I would say, is that the stage is a very flat stage. Although there are no platforms to extend your combos off of, you're going to have a lot more neutral interactions since the opponent doesn't have any platforms to platform camp you. And neutral is something Inkling is good at, so that's a good thing for Inkling. The platforms on the sides of the stage can help Inkling's combos quite a lot, but the opponent can DI away from the platform to minimize the damage taken from Inkling. Another disadvantage with Kalos is that the ceiling is very high on the stage. So your kills with up throw up air, up air in general, and getting roll or up smash are going to be a little bit later than usual. Another thing to note about Kalos is that the stage has walls on the sides, which can be good for stalling your recovery with wall jumps and doing more mix ups from the ledge. And that's pretty much it for Kalos, it's just a slightly worse final destination. I personally don't think Kalos is a super bad stage for Inkling, I think the stage is like alright for her. But in a tournament setting, when you have stages to ban after winning game 1 in a set, this is going to be one of the stages you're almost always going to ban against the opponent. Since you always want the better stages for Inkling, and you don't want the opponent picking the stage. And yeah, that is Inkling's worst stage, so let's get on to the next stage that isn't as bad. So that stage is going to be Yoshi's Story. So Yoshi's story is kind of similar to Kalos where you can't less trap well with Splat Bomb on the stage, which sucks. Another thing about the stage that I really don't like is in the middle of the stage at 0% on some characters when you do an up throw the opponent can tech on the top platform when you try to up air. So you have to go for a read. If you play on the stage as an inkling main, it's very annoying. But those are really the only two things you really have to worry about when playing on this stage. Some other things to note about the stage is that the platforms are pretty good for combos, especially if the opponent DI's in the stage to DI out of it, you can still get combos off the top platform and the middle ones. The ceiling is also low on the stage, so you can get vertical kills pretty easily, and the stage also has walls like Kalos does. But yeah, overall, I think the stage is pretty whatever for Inkling, it doesn't really matter if you play on the stage or not. I think it comes to player preference more than a character, at least in my opinion. But yeah, we're gonna get on to the next stage. The next stage I want to talk about is Battlefield. The thing about Battlefield that separates it from Yoshi's Story is that you can actually rush out with Splat Bomb in this stage. One thing I really do not like about Battlefield is the top platform blocking my up throw up air at 0%. So one thing I really don't like about Triplast is that they block my combos rather than help my combos. Having the top platform isn't all bad since there is actually specific Battlefield combos you can do with Inkling like up throw up air up air up air, neutral air neutral air and up throw neutral air neutral air drag down up air into jab or something else. There's quite a few battlefield combos you could do which is always a plus. Another thing about battlefield is that the ceiling is really high on this stage so vertical kills are not going to happen as easily as other stages. A plus about battlefield is that you can go under the stage and recover from the other side. So if you know that the opponent is going to less trap you you can go under the stage and go to the other ledge and if the opponent isn't that fast on the ground you won't get less trapped as hard from the opponent, since they won't be in the best position. And of course, Battlefield has the side platforms, so you can get really good combos off of them. And yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know about Battlefield. Now the stage that goes above Battlefield is FD. 
Now, the main thing that's wrong with FD is that you can't really get a lot of combos on this stage since you don't have any platforms to extend them off of. But on the flip side, you will be having a lot more neutral interactions with the opponent since there are no platforms for the opponent to platform camp inkling. This is personally something I really like about Final Destination is that you're going to be playing a lot of neutral, and inkling likes neutral. Other than that, the stage is pretty solid for Inkling. You have a very low ceiling, so you can get a lot of vertical kills with Roller Up Smash and Booyah. You can also catch landings pretty well with Inkling, since there's no platforms for the opponent to land on. Like, other than the no platforms, this stage is really solid for this character. So for the next stage I'm going to be talking about is Lilac Cruise. Surprisingly, Inkling is good on this stage. This stage has three platforms for Inkling to get combos off of. So it's going to be very hard for the opponent to DI away from platforms unless you're at the very edge of the stage. Another plus about the stage is that this stage overall has the shortest blast zones on the stage list, with the ceiling being as tall as FD being not so high, and the side blast zones being slightly lower than FD, so overall Lila has the shortest blast zones. So it's overall really good for Inkling, so it can make your killing more consistent and easier. Something I would like to note is that the slants don't let you jab lock on them, but this isn't really that big of a deal since you could just do a raw down smash after putting your opponent in a tech chase, so don't really have to worry about it that much, you just gotta remember not to jab block. But yeah, I think this stage is a really good counter pick stage and is really underrated inkling stage. Especially since the opponent's character doesn't favor this stage that well, so I would like to see if this stage gets picked more by inkling mains. So the next stage I would like to talk about is town. So the main thing I like about this stage is that this stage turns into FD after a while, so if the opponent is platform camping you, they can't platform camp you the entire match because they gotta play neutral against Inkling, eventually. The side blast zones on town are also smaller, a little bit smaller than FD, so you can actually get more roller kills when you land it. Some confirm start killing earlier on the stage, like up to neutral or fair right at the ledge. I think this stage is kind of personal preference for Inkling mains to see if they actually like this stage, but I personally really like this stage. Now we're going to get into the top 3 stages for Inkling, and I can see all of these stages being in the argument for being Inkling's best stage. So we're going to start off with Smashville. Smashville is a great stage for Inkling mainly because of the platform in the middle of the stage. If Inkling gets a grab on the ground in the middle of the stage, you pretty much can't really do anything about it except for take the damage. Smashville also has very small blast zones on the sides, so getting kills with Inkling will be a little bit easier off the sides with back air stuff. The only slight downside Smashville has is the ceiling that is a little higher than the average ceiling, but it's not that big of a deal in my opinion. But other than that, the stage is really good for Inkling. I can definitely see Inkling May saying that this is our best stage. So the other two stages I would like to talk about is Small Battlefield and PS2. A really good thing about both of these stages is that the platforms on the sides are really good for combos. Like if the opponent tries to DI away from one of the platforms, Inkling can still convert off of that and go to the other platform instead to come off that platform. It's really good for that. Both of these stages also have very low ceilings, so getting kills off the top will be generally easier than other stages. So the difference between PS2 and Small Battlefield is that the side blast zones are actually different on these stages. Small Battlefield actually has a smaller side blast zone than PS2 does, so getting kills off the side will be a little bit easier than PS2. You actually can't go under PS2, but you can still stall pretty hard at the bottom of it. The platforms on Small Battlefield are also a little bit longer than PS2's platforms. So getting combos off of Small Battlefield may be a little bit more consistent than PS2. Although PS2's platforms are smaller than Small Battlefield's, the stage itself on PS2 is a little bit longer. So Inkling will have a little bit more space to move around since she likes that. But yeah, those are all the differences between PS2 and Small Battlefield, which are quite a few. The stage I like the better out of the two is very slightly Small Battlefield because the blast zones favor her a little bit better. But I like both stages pretty well. And that's going to be it on Inkling's best and worst stages. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And once again, if you have not seen my other Inkling guides or Inkling videos before, make sure to check them out on my channel. And yeah guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.